Hi friends, how are you feeling today? I have a story about a monkey who's feeling quite grumpy today. It's called the Grumpy Monkey. Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? It's such a wonderful day, asked Marabou. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing. It's true. You're all hunched, said Norman. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? It's such a wonderful day, asked Lemur. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true. They're all bunched up, said Norman. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, that's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy, said Norman. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown? asked Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds, but Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys, but Jim didn't feel like swinging either. You should roll with us, said the zebras. But Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. But Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath. And make, and a, make splash. a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. <laughs> you should take a nap. You should eat old meat. Or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? It's such a wonderful day, asked the others. I'm not grumpy! <laughs> and he stormed off. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy. Jim sighed, and just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with a porcupine, said Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, 
but I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy, said Jim. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed, and he already felt a little bit better. I think we all have days where we feel a little grumpy, and that's okay. We have all kinds of emotions. Now that we've read our story, we're going to make a work of art about the monkey that shows an emotion. Maybe it's how you're feeling today. Maybe it's a grumpy monkey, or maybe it's a happy monkey like mine. Let's get started. You're going to need a paper, a pencil, and something to color with. Our artwork is going to be vertical or the tall way on our paper. However, to begin, I'm going to turn it horizontal and draw a number three right in the center of the paper fairly large. Then I'm going to turn my paper back to vertical. This is going to be the monkey's face. I'm going to close this shape with a letter U. Around this shape, I'm going to draw a circle. For the monkey's ears, I'm going to draw a curved line on each side, like an oval or a circle shape. Inside, I'm going to make a little spiral. For the monkey's body, I'm going to make a big curved line like part of a circle, leaving just enough room on the bottom for his little legs. I'm going to draw a bent line two times and the opposite on the other side for his two legs. To create his simple feet, draw a curved line like a letter C and the opposite on the other side, and then draw a little line curved on the inside almost like a bean shape. My monkey is going to be hanging from a tree, so I'm going to draw his two long arms hanging down from a branch. So across the top of my page, I'm going to make an uneven line twice for the branch. I'm going to connect two lines for one arm and another two lines for his second arm all the way up to the branch. His little fingers will wrap around the branch, so I'm going to draw a few little bumps right on the top of the branch. And now I have to decide on his facial expression. If he's angry, I'll make his eyebrows straight and his mouth frowning. If he's happy, I might give him a smile and some squinty eyes. You can draw your monkey with any type of facial expression. He could be sad, happy, or maybe he's a silly monkey. <laughs> Next, use a black to create the texture of the monkey's fur. I'm going to use a crayon and at first I'm going to trace over my pencil line and then I'm going to draw a few short lines sticking out all the way around each part of the monkey that has fur to create the texture. Once your drawing is complete, finish it by coloring or painting it. 